Hi everyone, welcome to DIY Ideas. So today I'll show you how to do a triangle in lovely colors starting from purple all the way to the yellow on the other side. So this project is going to be super cuddly, super warm in the end. The longest side is going to be 160 centimeters. So if you want to see how to do this, stay tuned. So you guys, I will start again with the Creative Wool Super 6 from Rico Design. So 200 grams per 800 meters or 7 ounces and 875 yards, 70% acrylic, 30% wool, and needle size is 4. And you can even see an example as they did here. And here's my 4 millimeter needle. My color pattern is going to be a little bit different because I'll start here from the bottom point and I'll work upwards instead of from the side to the other one. And the stripes are therefore going to go horizontally. So it's rainbow colored, but the green doesn't go to the yellow. This time it's green to red. And yeah, six colors from purple all the way to yellow. And we will be starting with the purple color. So I'll take the inside out. It's actually out of four threads put together and the colors change one at a time, so it's going to be super subtle. Okay, so here we are. So let's start with some chains and I'll do four. four and then yarn over the needle and I'll go back and do my first stitch and take the thread through so that you get the three loops on your needle. Pull it so that it's nice and loose and then take the yarn over the needle and again pull tall so we need five loops and then we repeat it for the third time because we want to have seven loops on our needle total. I hope you can see it. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now pull the thread through all of them and do one more chain on top. That's my first puff. And now into the same little chain, we are gonna do two more puffs. So you want seven loops on your needle before you close it up and do a chain on top, third time. And there we are, three puffs and you may notice the chains we started with. Second row, three for the height and turn. Now I'll do the new puffs and the spaces between the finished ones. And I'll again do the same, so a puff again. So I'll do additions here, so now I'll do two puffs into this one space. So here are two puffs in this one, so the third one comes in between the puffs of the last row. And one more time. Okay. 
and then here on the outside I'll do one more puff around the chains I started with in the last row. And one more puff, so two total. And that's how I get five puffs out of three in the last row. So we always do two additions, one at each end. So let's do three for the height and turn. And here between the puffs of the last row, I'll do two more again. Then one per each hole in between and two puffs in the last spot in the row. So the additions are always on both ends. Six, seven, okay. I'll also show you the third row. And here around the chains, again, two puffs. There is our row three, so three puffs to start with, and then five, and third row. Seven total, so for each row we have two additions. So I'll do a bit more and I'll show you what I have. So here I am after 10 rows and you see I'm still at the purple. I have a little bit of it left over in this pool as well. So then we move on to the blue, the darker blue. So I'll definitely show you how the color changes happen and how that's gonna develop as well, so how it turns out. But let me show you the additions one more time. So it's always two puffs that you see above the one below and the chains on the end, and it's the same on both sides. So here between the additions are always chains and then we always go between the already existing puffs and that's pretty much it. So now I'll continue and I'll show you what I have after a while. So I'm here now after a while, you see the little beginning in purple, then it slowly switched to dark blue, and now we are changing to this light green that you can see here on top. And you may notice that our colors are not as wide because they are longer, so I'm now exactly at another color change that's gonna happen. So you see the two green and two blue threads? And this changes now. You see the one I just showed you on the first loop? But the second loop on my needle has three little green threads. So 
So anyway, I'll just continue until I finish the whole scarf. In my spool, we have a little bit of green left over and we actually have a lot of yellow and red left over and I put a band over it so that the spool stays together. I just folded it in half and took a regular rubber band to keep it together. So anyway, a little bit of green left over, then some red. After the red comes a little bit of orange here that you can see and the yellow at the end. So I'm almost done. I'll show you this awesome color change from the start. So I went through all the colors and now I'm finishing with the yellow. So I don't have enough for an entire new row. So that means I'll end here. So cut the thread short and pull out and tighten. And now we have to weave these buddies in, so just the beginning and the end thread, which is pretty great. So with these huge spools, it's really not a lot of work when you're done. So just the two threads to weave in, which is not always the case. So this would be a really cool benefit of huge spools. So anyway, yeah, here is the end. And I hope I can show you the other shades as well at the same time. It is a huge scarf, so it's kind of hard to fit it all in. But yeah, thanks to the puffs, it's super cuddly and thick. And I hope you guys like the result. Let me know what you think in the comment section. You can also shoot us a thumbs up if you enjoyed. And if you would like to see more, you can also subscribe to our channel for free and that way stay updated with everything new that we post in the future. So thanks for watching DIY Ideas, I'll see you in our next video and until then I wish you a wonderful day. Bye!